I love making big roasts. It's classic. It's something that everybody identifies with. It's basically a bunch of rib all put together before they actually are cut into steaks. So this is one of the first things I ever made when I started cooking in a professional kitchen. And I'm gonna do it exactly the way I did it, I don't know, 30 years ago. I'm just gonna take a paring knife, make some slits in the fat, and we're gonna keep the fat on here. So I'm just gonna take garlic and just put it right into the prime rib. A lot of people that watch Food Network ask me, like, are you friends with the other Food Network hosts and chefs? Do you guys hang out together? And really, the bottom line is, like, absolutely. So we want the roast to get nice and crusty and crispy. You might be alarmed by how much salt I put on here, but we're not gonna actually eat all this salt. It's actually gonna form a crust, and it's gonna keep the prime rib incredibly juicy. And of course, some pepper. We're gonna start this at 450 degrees for 20 minutes, and I'm gonna turn it down to 350 degrees, and we'll let it cook through for about three and a half hours. There we go. Ooh, thyme butter, yeah. What's that for? That's my prime rib. Thyme butter is really simple. It's butter and fresh thyme and salt and pepper, and that's basically it. Thyme is a classic herb to go along with prime rib, and you know, who doesn't want butter? Look at that, that's a beefcake and a big meat. Look at that, 9.5 difficulty. <laughs> Yeah. Salt, pepper, garlic, that's it. Goy, that's the meat. Love it. And then we're gonna butcher this thing up. This is the centerpiece of our meal today. So I checked the roast and it looks like it's almost a perfect medium rare, but now I wanna let it rest. And it will continue to cook for a while. Here, Sunny, would you like some wine? Oh, heck yeah. Okay, there you go. Ooh, it's smelling good in here. Hi. Hi. Welcome. Thank you. I'm sorry, it took me a long time to get ready. I know, I was just telling these guys, I was like, where did she go? I had a nice bubble bath. <laughs> Okay, I like what that. What is going on here? Look at that nice salty crust. Yeah, but I'm gonna take all that off now. My mouth is watering. You see how juicy that is? That's because the fat cap just kind of protected uh -huh. it. So I'm making my sauce in the roasting pan. There's some drippings on the bottom. I'm going to put some shallots in there to glaze the pan. Gosh, it smells so good. And the prime rib. How about some red wine? You wanna okay. put some red wine in there? Just like a half a cup yeah. or more? Like half a bottle. Oh, half a bottle. Yeah. Put that yeah. in there. Beautiful. And then a little bit of red wine vinegar. Oh, yeah, so I give it a tang. Yeah, a little acidity. And then some uh, black peppercorns. Ooh. And that's going to be the sauce. So it's going to be basically a red wine and thyme and butter sauce. I am known for my big appetite in this group. I'm looking at this prime rib like this might even be big for me. Show me the secret to slicing a prime rib. All right, so you want to follow the bone here. So if you look at, look at this, you kind of want to go in between it mm -hmm. and then just kind of straight down. So. Let's see what this is gonna look like. It's really hard for me to make conversation right now. It's I hear like you. hard to concentrate. That's the end cut. Oh my god, look at this. What? Gorgeous. Cheers. Cheers! Bobby, that meat looks amazing from over here. Oh my goodness. Oh god, look at that. Ooh, yes, give me a straw. Here we go. I will take that. Here you go. I will let you have it. And I'll grab the prime rib. And Christmas dinner is served. All right, prime rib, everybody. Make way for the star of Christmas, the prime rib. All right, guys, grab a plate. Hello. Hit the buffet and sit wherever you like. I've got no problem being a person. I'm looking at this beautiful buffet with all this great food on it. What's better than this? 